Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I'm an affiliate for Spellbinders and other companies. There's links below this video that when you click on and place an order, I do receive a small commission and that's at no cost to you. Thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I'm excited about this card that I have up in my head that I think that we are going to create wonderfully today. Um, I am using the Azalea and Garden with the ladybug and this is the nature's botanical collection so pretty I've done a couple of cards with this embossing folder let me get them um, and I just wanted to show you this one was one that I did some watercoloring on and I just love the colors on it just a very happy card and I used of course watercolor paper now here I did um, white on white um, you're in my thoughts again this is a watercolor paper and it has like texture to it this does some watercolor papers are smooth and then today I'm going to use um, there's just some regular Nina white cardstock and <clears throat> look how smooth that that is just a little difference right there right just to get a different look so I spritzed my paper. This is um, five by seven. I spritzed it with water and ran it through the 3D embossing folder. That is Nature's Botanical Wreath 3D from the Nature's Botanical Garden Collection by Susan Tierney Coburn. She always makes such beautiful realistic cards um, and I sure do have fun working with them. Now my base is um, for a five by seven card so it's ten inches by seven inches scored at five and that makes a nice five by seven card we're going to go ahead and attach this already because I know I don't want a color background on this I just want I just find I, I feel like this is just so pretty and white but you'll see we're going to put plenty of color on this we are going to make the azalea so it's going to come out really pretty um, I went through her video and learned a couple of things and so I thought that I would try them out they seem to be working quite well and we're gonna have fun with that so just white on white and I believe I'll use it like this here is the azalea I, I picked this because of the little pot here I just thought that was so much fun and you also this has the ladybug with it uh, and that is her trademark I think it's uh, for her daughter and um, so I made my little ladybug already I have to poke it so that it sticks up a little bit but there it's really tiny here's the die to it okay and um, you know so uh, I thought that I would already put that together so I'll put that off to the side I cut my stamen here I just did this um, this yellowish green from the happy a day assortment pack just a piece of scrap right there that's for the stamen we'll put that aside then what I did was I cut let me put this card base aside I cut these flowers or these leaves out okay and that's right here and it says cut three I cut four of them and I was watching her video look at how shiny that they are and realistic that they are we're gonna do that right now and mine will have to dry then first I'm gonna take some green ink I'm using just medium spruce it doesn't matter what you use or you don't even have to do this or you could use an alcohol marker whatever you want to do I just want to darken it a little bit and I'm not really sure if this makes a big difference or not now you can add the brown before or after you decide to add I'm using glossy accents I got it at Hobby Lobby anything like crystal effects anything like that would work here with what I'm doing Whoop. let me put this away okay and let me wipe that up just like that I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to put my leaf here and let me get I used a toothpick let me get that I use that out of my wax seal collection 
just so that it would be disposable. And I wasn't, you know, we're not taking big pains, okay? Glossy accents right here. And I just dropped it on here. Let's go ahead first. Now, this, these right here, let me just say, I added the brown after I added the glossy accents to the top right here. You can see that. See where that brown is kind of shiny and the other is not? But that's because of when I added it. So I'm just going to take an alcohol marker right now. And I'm just going to make this brown. And then if the glossy accents gets on it, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine too. There we go. Okay. So just any color brown just to darken that up. Now, glossy accents right here. This is from Ranger. Um, or there's even like a crystal effects or something to make what you're doing shine. Okay. So I'm just going to glob this on here. This is what I did. And then I took my toothpick and I just spread it and because it's a leaf and it's you know it's imperfect I just kinda let it be now of course through this video we won't be able to use this one because this is gonna take a while to dry But, you know, like if it doesn't spread out all the way, I don't care. I'm okay with that because I think that that's what gives it, you know, I just kind of tap my toothpick on it. This one got all shiny and it's already starting to dry a little bit. This one could use a little bit more, okay. The larger leaf, the rest of them are smooth. Just add. And, and anything that you do like this is what this is how it's going to work. Any kind of that medium that you use. Okay. And of course you could use a paintbrush. I just wanted something that I could throw away. And like I said, they're leaves. And you can see with the, the glossiness being imperfect, it makes the leaf even look more realistic, I think. Here we're going to try to... And I want this to be a little shiny down through here. So there. Just like that. Now I'm going to make sure that it doesn't stick. I'm going to pick it up. Use my little spatula here from my Cricut days. I'm just going to take it and move it to another part of the paper. Okay. And then I'm going to put this aside. Now that could take a while to dry okay I don't know maybe 20-30 minutes this was my water that I sprayed my paper with okay let's go ahead and so here's our leaves let's pretend that we did that and I left this one without the brown just to show you that when I color it in it colors right on top of this glossy accent I was really happy for that you know and then that other one we did before so just a couple of different ways whatever makes you happy so there's that and um, let me put this away there we go and so here's these three now the way that you bend these because that's big with her is the way that you bend these you just take the tweezers if you have her kit is wonderful I'll link it below or if you have some tweezers that are reversed but I'm just holding it and I'm just bending it just holding it in the middle and bending it and it's going to keep the shape because of the glossy accents which I think is just fantastic okay just kind of bend them together just like that okay so there are three wonderful leaves that we have together. I love that. Now here's the, okay, so we went through that. I try to go through each and every uh, die with you. Now here is the um, little terracotta kind of 
planter okay so these two are here and this one is here all right and then I cut this out of like a, a terracotta looking color paper and then the brown and then I used our white splatter to splatter these and I let them dry you know so sometimes I get ahead of myself I really do and I um, I wind up touching it <laughs> before I should but I can't help it okay so let's go ahead and put this right here I believe this one this goes in here you know just like that because of see the etching right here where it's indented that actually fits right in there quite nicely and let me make sure it doesn't go this way. no um, okay, so it goes like that. Then this little one is the bottom, okay, is like the the base, and then this comes here. That's the way I put, I've, uh, I think it should go together. But I splattered all of it, so that was fun. What a nice planter, right? You, you could do a lot with this. You could just do even just greenery out of this, right? So I'm going to put some glue on the bottom here. And I'm going to attach that in through here, I think. Yeah, just like that. Now you can put things behind this, okay? That's how that goes. So you can, you know, like if I wanted to place a leaf behind it, that's exactly what I could do there. Very nice. Okay, now this goes here. This is a really good set. I fell in love with the planter. Absolutely fell in love with the planter. This, um, now a little glue down here. And this will make it look to me like it's sitting in you know, in that bottom dish where the extra water, if you water it excessively, like I would probably do, um, <laughs> where it would go. Because I've even said this before on here, guys, I could kill silk, okay? There we go. Okay, so here is our planter. Now I'm going to bring in, um, and where did I put it? Here it is. My little sticky mat here and this one is from waffle flower and it's for the mini misty but i didn't want a sticky mat that was too big um, because i just needed it for small things and uh, so this is my first time trying this out i want to line up my flowers here as many as i can probably six of them probably have to do a couple of more we could do that okay just like that. And now I want to get um, some medium carnation, I believe, from Gina Kay. I'm going to get a brush. Get one of my brush. Use a small brush if you want. You could use a larger brush if you want. And now, without kind of moving them, I wanted to ink them up. Oh, that is nice to have. That sure does hold it down. And this was my main concern. I wanted to start using a little bit more ink than what I did. A lot of times I just use, you know, color card stock. Let's do this in the middle. make them kind of different hues of color, right? They don't have to be the same. They will come in this way. This on the tips. Okay.
Okay, so let's take these off. That was really nice. Didn't move at all. And put these two back on. And I'm going to come in the middle. And just work my way out with my excess ink that's on there. Just trying new things, right? Then I'm enjoying inking. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, I'm very happy. And it fits my Mini Misty, so it kind of works, you know, both ways. I could use it without my Mini Misty or with it. Now then, um, I will take a wet cloth and clean this in a little bit. And let's see, let's go to our card here. And you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, twist up the stamen. Now she has a, a specific way of doing this. So you want to hold that little tab, put your glue here, okay, at the same time for this she wanted it to be thinner but you cannot like make the dies as I guess as thin as she wanted to so she suggests just cutting these in half. As you see, I'm not too steady. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Hey, we're getting it. Okay, then, okay, I did it. I didn't think, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> then you just roll it together and that glue will hold it. And then this kind of fluffs out right here into smaller pieces because we cut them in half. Doesn't, isn't that fun? That is awesome. And we just pull that out. Okay, so I'll let that sit over here with my little teeny tiny ladybug. All right, now, <clears throat> um, this. Let's see what we're going to do here. Actually, what we need to do is put our flowers together. So I'm just going to get a foam mat. Let me go ahead and use get my ladybug here. And I have like a little stylus here, like a little round ball on my uh, pickup tool. Uh, we use whatever you, that you have. You could even use the um, end of a pencil. And I'm going to push my ladybug down. So that it cups up a little bit. And then when we're done, we'll put it on a, um, a, a leaf. Okay. So now, here, let's go ahead and put these together. Okay, so first we have a little work to do on these flowers, and they're beautiful. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and take, I'm going to take a ball stylus. Now, she has a wonderful kit. Um, let me find it. She has a wonderful kit of tools for this. Um, here it is. For what I'm about to do, she has like a little hook that does this, but she recommends just kind of coming in here. I'm using a large ball on this. Her hook would be better. It, it seemed to round it up more. And here. Okay, and we're coming along. And then here. Okay, now we're going to take the tweezers in the center and we're going to squeeze it, pinch it together. Okay, and then as it's together, we're going to roll back these little edge 
edges of it so that this is what you get okay with the edges rolled back just a teeny teeny bit so again put it in the center squeeze it up hold it and then roll these back just a little bit just like that then from here go ahead and take your ball stylus and push it down push it down okay and you want these two to kind of be sticking up like that just like that kind of in a V okay so we're going to do the same thing with these guys hold them roll it back and now my my tweezers don't just stay together I could use those other ones too but the, I seem to be doing okay with this accomplishing what I want. She does a lot with paper. I guess that's why I like her creations because she does a lot with paper. You know she makes paper do a lot I guess I should say too. I don't know. So here's that. Okay now this the three is actually going to go into the two like that. So let's go ahead and put some glue and she has a wonderful holder I really need to get her whole supplies uh, because I do her I love to do her cards her releases I should say so then this you're gonna have um, everything kind of alternating and take your stylus and just hold it down oh look at me I made one stamen and I have four flowers that's funny okay just like that look at that so much fun see and then this little guy that we just made I'll have to cut more little glue on the bottom and put it right in there and now if these are too long for you and you don't want them sticking out that much you could give them a haircut you know don't be afraid to do that either so see her little thing it cups all of this together so that it just sits I'm gonna let that sit just like that in the corner okay so let me go ahead and cut some more stamens and I'll be right back okay so I um, made the stamens and now I found <laughs> I put them in my tape I put the flower in my little tape like this okay to hold it down all right so I have some mint tape here and I have two washi tapes together so hopefully um, <laughs> we can modify something and go from there all right now let's go ahead and do these and I really I wanted to do this on camera with you guys it's just gonna kind of run that stylus around all of them make it curl up a little bit just using what I have in my drawer what a pretty collection and I love the pot right that is that's my fave the little terracotta Look at that. just make it curl up And there we go. Nice. Okay. Now, let's go ahead with this and squish together, hold together, and roll the tips out. Okay. Squish in half, hold it in half, and roll the tips out. Okay take the stylus push that in okay because the larger one is actually going to go inside of that one okay squeeze hold it together Please hold it together. 
And if you need to wet these down with just, you know, a little spray of water, go ahead and do so. And then right here, and some glue on the back of the large piece. Then connecting it into, see what could actually, well, no, that doesn't work like that. Okay, let's hold it. This is good for holding. Hers are good for even pushing stuff in, you know, so I just did the best I could. Okay, stamen, glue on the bottom, and let's put that right there in the center. And then I'm letting my mint tape hold that one in, doing the best I can, right? That's fun. That's kind of fun. Okay, so here we go again. And we'll just pinch it together in the center, hold it together, and flip the other ones out. Then use the stylus that kind of picks it up, right? So the more you do, the faster you get. And it's good that they twist every which way. She gives you on her video with um, Spellbinders, she gives you a whole, um, like, education on, on azaleas, which I appreciate. So there's that. A little glue. Put it right down in the center. There we go. Okay. This little part. Glue. Stick it in the center. Ooh, that's a little big. So this one's dry, that one's good. Let's put it in there. There we go. In my best ever craft tape. Good. And we did that, and now we just do this. And now look, I made this one flat, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pinch it again. No big deal. Hold it together, roll these back, just a slight little bit. Little glue. Push these together. Hold for just a second there, right? This one should be dry. It is. Okay, put my last stamen in there. Now you know like her cards are more of like what I call giving cards because they are so 3D hard to mail you know or you if you're gonna mail a gift you could put this in whoop, <laughs> in with the gift if you wanted to or you might use a small box for the envelope just to there we go just to hold that okay let's move that aside let's see how we did here guys just coming oh I wonder if my leaf is dry through all of that nope it's still a little tacky I still feel it. It's tacky. Okay. Let's see about our... Um, I'm going to put this about here. Four azaleas sticking out. Okay. 
and then some leaf going like under here. Even that coming down that way. Maybe one here. Something like that. And then this up here. And there's our potted azalea. Now what I probably will do, honestly, because when I'm when this is all dry, I'm going to pinch it together. It's not dry. And I'm going to put this one up at the top. But I'm going to wait um, for that to dry. This looks stinking beautiful. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these guys. So I want that one like here. I want them standing up. There we go. Then I'm just going to glue down the leaf part here. Oh, I don't even have this attached yet. What am I doing? I got so excited. <laughs> don't even answer that. Okay, what am I doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and get some medium foam. And I'll just put some back here, just like that. Well, where the azalea is, it um, it's together, right? Just where it needs to be. Okay, let's put this here. Oh, that's funny. Just like that. Look at how that speckling looks fantastic, right? And I'm just going to take my leaf and put it right there. And then, this one doesn't have glue on it. Put the one with the glue on it right there. Okay. Then this one. And I'm going to slip it in our little slot right there. Let that stay. So you'll have to put this where you want it, and then you got to walk away from it, right? <laughs> oh, which is not a strong point for me. The walking away. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah, this one up here. one here. Let me tuck it. Just like that. I love it. This goes here on this side. Look at how pretty this is coming. Oh my goodness. Um, our little ladybug, I'm putting right here. It is so teeny tiny, guys. So teeny tiny. Okay, the little head is black, right? So I'm going to put her right here on a leaf. And that just has to dry. Now, um, I'm going to set this aside. Okay, that just came out beautiful. I am, I j okay, I just have to look at it because it's very pretty. All right, look at the dimension on those flowers. They are really up there. They're beautiful, though. They're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, well, that was fun to put together. Um, let's go ahead. Let me just clean up a little bit here. And uh, we need to do our sentiment, right? Let's do that. Let's see, what do we want to use? Let me move this leaf out of the way. It'll still be drying, right? Maybe we'll get it on there. Uh, uh, live life in full bloom, exactly. Live life in full bloom. And I really like that coral color. 
So let's see what we can accomplish with one of our beautiful Live Life in Full Bloom right here. And where is it? This one it should be. Yep. So you can always find them by fitting them in. Okay. So let's do that. So we'll better press this. Of course, better press is really great, you know, for hot foiling. But these cards, they need better pressed. I see this with these cards. And I'm just loving this. So here we go. Let me get... my system out here. Okay, here we go. And I'll just get a cotton cord panel. This is the 118 pound right here. Okay. And I'm just going to place this here into my A2 slots. And I'm going to use some mint tape. Mint, best ever craft tape, use whatever you've got. I find though that this does not pick that paper up as much. Okay, so let's put this here. Live life in full bloom. And it doesn't really have to be straight because you're going to cut it out anyway, which I love that. Okay. <laughs> let's say what color? Apricot, too light. Tiger. What do we think about Tiger? Let's bring the card in. Tiger. <laughs> Let's do Azalea. Duh. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's just do Azalea because it says it, right? That's funny. Okay. Absolutely. We could not pass that up, right? Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but I don't want it real cockeyed because I'll use this paper, you know, use different parts of it. Okay. Clean that up a little bit around it. Let's put this together, take it from the bottom, bring the platinum in. Roll it through. That was so funny when I read that color. Not even thinking about that, yes, we have a zone. Too funny. Gorgeous. LDRS cleaner. Remember, there's a coupon code at the bottom, Melanie15. You could use that as many times as you want on as many orders as you want from LDRS. I'm not an affiliate, but I'm always there for a good deal, right? We always are good for a good deal. Now watch this. That's amazing. That's nice. Okay. Let's take this off. Here we go. Yeah, it really held it lightly, though. I'll tell you, it could have dropped, you know, but it does hold it lightly. There we go. You know, it kind of dropped the paper down. So let's bring this in and let's cut. Ta da! Turn it the right way. There we go. And take your time with this because if you get it off, you have to go back and redo your better press. Tape it. There we 
go. Just going to pop that out. Ah, that's so pretty. I'm very happy with that. Let's see how we're doing with the rest of our project over there. And this is the porcelain. I couldn't remember the name of bisque the other day on camera. I was like, it's the vanilla looking one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Oh, wait, right there, right there. Oh my goodness, wait. That must go there. That's it. And I'm not going to pop it up. We have enough going on. Boy, when you know, you know, right? When you see it's right, it's right. Cute. Let me put a block on it. Look at my little ladybug just sitting there. Let's see how we're doing over here with our leaf since it's been a hot minute. No, guys, it's still a little tacky. I'm still going to wait on that leaf. That leaf will go up here. So when that's dry and I get that added, I'll take a picture, and that'll be the picture, of course, that you see. But that's why that a leaf is not here. I'm just waiting for it to dry. I think our card came out absolutely gorgeous. I love that she said something about the crystal effects or something that would make it glossy. That really added to it. Gives it that lifelike. I really love the way this card came out. So thanks again for watching. And again, this is the Nature's Botanical Garden Collection. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I don't know. It just looks so pretty. I thought about adding a butterfly. I would add that yellow one, like down in here. That's kind of... Let me look. No. No, nope. Thought about it, but I kind of just like it the way it is. I really do. Should we add some gems? Maybe gems would be good. Maybe, um, see, nope, not the sequence. Yeah, let's add some crystal effects. While we're here, why not, right? Let's add some crystal effects. Um, so do I want the white ones or the iridescent ones? Kind of like the iridescent ones. Okay. So then that's what we'll do. And, of course, a teeny tiny. And there's five. And that's perfect. Just a little something, right? Oh, I love it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.